I was born and brought up in the city, which I've always loved cities. Uh, I love the fact they're chaotic. I love the fact that there's diversity. I love the fact that loads of different things happen in cities that don't happen anywhere else, um, which is why I was a bit worried when I saw the research. The research on uh, schizophrenia and other psychoses seems to show that your biggest risk factor for developing a psychosis is being born and brought up in a city. The bigger the city, the bigger the risk. The longer you live there as a child, the bigger the risk. Now nobody knows exactly what it is about a city that increases the risk of developing a psychosis. Some people say it's social disorganisation and that's because studies have shown that the level of social disorganisation in an area is linked to the rate of development of schizophrenia in the area. Other people have said that, that cities are chaotic and if you're a child and you're living in a chaotic um, sort of uh, area, it, it leads to problems in the developing brain so that the developing brain gets confused more easily um, and that increases the vulnerability to developing schizophrenia. Not surprisingly, there are a whole bunch of researchers who are trying to work out what exactly it is about the social environment that increases the risk of developing schizophrenia and other psychoses. One of the ideas there was at one time was preserved food. So you know that when, uh, if you are more likely to have food shipped in, so when the food sits in warehouses, um, it produces sometimes these really small resins of uh, fungi that produce something called psilocybin, which is a um, psychoactive substance. And some people saying it could be sort of, you know, storage of food. Other people saying it could be pollution and it could be complex hydrocarbons that are causing the problem. Other people go down the social route and say it's the social adversity, it's the, um, how you develop the kid's brain. Uh, and when they talk about that, they're really talking about this idea of serve and return, that um, you know, a child's uh, brain grows, uh, the brain is a muscle, and so the child's brain grows through um, the interactions it has with parents and they call them serve and return. So they send a bit of information, they look at the, the uh, response and that changes the way they uh, respond socially. And one of the things that cities do pretty well is they eat parental time. And so it could be that just the amount of time that people have with their kids is decreased because um, you know, people have to go to work and they don't spend time at home. So there are all of these ideas around what it is about a city. And what we've got to do now that we've got this big effect is disaggregate these different things that happen in cities and see whether we can work out what exactly is going on and how that causes an increased risk of psychosis. And that's